Ah, uh, hello, and welcome to the video. A few weeks ago, I posted a draw to adopt containing 10 characters and, uh, a little bit, a little bit, just, just a little bit more of you joined than I expected, and it made it super, super hard to choose who got what. I'm going to announce the winners at the end of the video, and to keep this entertaining as I, as entertaining as I can until then, I'm going to try my best to explain my mindset as I was making a few of these characters, so then maybe you, the viewer, can have some advice or tips when you make a new character. Anyways, let's get right into it. Whenever I'm making a character, before anything else, I want them to have a purpose. Purpose as in, will they have a story attached to them? Will they be a mascot? Will they be an adopt? And etc, etc. After I figure out their purpose, I try to figure out what they look like. Will they be based off of an animal? What colors will they have and what are their abilities? I'm going to use my main OC, Bluffy, as an example. I wanted them to look and feel friendly and kind of silly looking. I thought nothing would be friendlier than a nice doggo and I put them in a tuxedo because I thought it looked funny. I also kept the colors light and somewhat bright to one, match the breed they're based on and two, just to express a friendly, a more friendly look, I guess. Now I'm going to use uh, some, some DTAs as an example. For all the DTAs, I tried them I tried my best to look, make them all look interesting and appeal to you guys, I guess. And I also wanted to make them all somewhat different, so they're all unique in their own way. For each, they didn't really have an idea behind them. I just knew I wanted to make them a dragon, I guess, and I wanted them to look spiky. Their first design didn't go as well as I wanted, and so, on its next one, I put another factor behind it, winter. So, that caused their second design to have a little bit more cool, cold colors mixed into it. Jay also had a redesign behind them. At first they were just some random wolf dog that looked kind of grumpy. And later on I added a portal next to it based off of some vaporwave designs before I made it into its own character. But I didn't like how it was looking, and thus made a new one. I wanted the portal to be more visual, so I made them running through it. Another aspect that I wanted to put into it was a color it could be based around, so I made them yellow. B was a fun one. I made them up on the spot, and I already knew what its aspects were going to be. I wanted to use a Labrador Retriever as a base and combine them with water because I thought of how they were used to retrieve ducks over the water, and because of that, their ears went floppy to prevent water from getting them in them as easy. I also had Anemone in mind because I also thought blue and pink went pretty well together. G is my favorite design and they are the design that I am most proud of. I wanted to make a dragon-like creature and put the designs in some sort of vaporwave aspects into them. That caused a lot of stripes and fades as well as dark colors. The spikes on their back were supposed to resemble mountains because of some of the references I was using. And I gave them a slim cat-looking tail because I thought it looked nice. When I was making their head, I kind of based their ears and stuff off of Toothless because, mostly because I just rewatched the movies and I also thought they looked cute. I also really liked their eyes. Those were very cool to make. Hopefully this gave you an idea of what to keep in mind when you're making a character. This is all how I do it, by the way. You can make your characters however you like. I'm planning on making a more in-depth tutorial in the future if you're all interested in it or if this mini lesson wasn't enough. Now we've reached the end. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, the results. A quick statement before we continue. Please don't rant or complain in the comments of this or any 
other video relating to this if you don't get the character you wanted. I trust that you're all great enough not to, but just in case, I'm saying this. I'm going to announce I'm going to be announcing the winners from least entries to most entries, so hold some suspense. Least being A, most being B. I'd like to declare that the winner of A is none other than... Shiva197. You did a wonderful job on your art piece and I really hope you enjoy this character. For I, the winner is none other than... Snowfall the Artistic Griffin. We loved the detail in your entry as well as the background, and I look forward to seeing what you do with this fella. The artist that won the Beloved C happens to be Box Person SD. The lighting in your piece is amazing, and we love how you drew them. Congrats! The spiky cold dragon that is H would gladly go over to C Anima. I love the backstory you wrote behind this guy, and I hope you have fun with them. Our little Kandashiba, that is E, I would like to announce goes to Withered Spirit. The lighting and detail in this picture is super cool and I really hope you enjoy them. D, the red nosed finch cat, goes to none other than Dragoon252. I really like the simple style you put them in and I think it's cool how you put how you didn't put line art in them. I really hope you like them. I'd like to announce that the owner of F, our floating purple cat, would be J Draws. I really like the situation you put them in and I look forward to seeing what else you'll do with them. For our favored vapor wave dragon, I would like them to go to Eva City. We really liked how you drew them. The lighting and dimension is amazing. Thank you so much for participating. Our portal jumping dog, Jay, would happily teleport over to Paper B. Me and the judges absolutely loved your entry and thought you should be the winner. Thank you so much for participating. And last but not least, B. I would like to announce that this lovely sea doggo would go over to none other than... Dewdrop Draws. The art you made for this doggo is amazing and I look forward to seeing what you do with them. Thank you so much for participating. So we've made it to the end. This was a really fun competition and I'm glad that you all, that all of you that joined had fun with this. Adding on to the statement I said before, please don't say things to yourself like I probably didn't win because my art is bad. All of your art was amazing and it was super hard to pick who won, especially for the last three. I am really sorry if I made anyone feel bad. Oh hey, yeah, I'm also using my voice for once. Hopefully I don't sound like I'm bored out of my mind. I'll try and sound a little bit more energetic if I ever do another voiceover. Anywho, I think I'm done here. Hope you all, hopefully, you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.